This is the Greek Word of the Day with James Gregory. Hello. Welcome to the Greek Word of the Day. Happy Mother's Day. Um, today's Greek Word of the Day is palin. Pa- 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 palin. Palin? Pa- Pauline. Pauline, I, I think is how you're supposed to say it. I could be wrong. I'm terrible with pronunciation. Meanwhile, we got the vacuum in the background. Hey! Uh, it means again, like palindrome, right? It's the same front and back. It's the same again. It's pertaining to um, return to a position or state. Translated back. It's used with verbs of going, sending, turning, calling, go back, return back, something like that. Send back. It's used in expressions that denote a falling back into a previous state or a return to a previous activity. Okay. Um, So that's the first gloss. Second gloss pertaining to repetition in the same or similar manner. Translated again, once more, anew, something like that. It's used of something or a person um, that has already done. Uh, used of an event, uh, a state, a circumstance, something like that. A third gloss, it's a marker of a discourse or narrative item added to items of a related nature. Translated, also, again, furthermore, thereupon. I've never said that word before in my life. I have no idea when you would even use that. but I've used furthermore plenty. It's very often in a series of quotations from scripture. K, Pauline, Pauline, K, um, usually followed both times, or in both of those instances, with a poetic quotation, probably from Psalms, I imagine. Um, yeah, it looks like it did come from Psalms. Not sure. It could be a uh, marker of contrast or an alternative aspect. Translated, on the other hand, in turn. So you really get an aspect of contrast. And then the fifth and final gloss, a special difficulty is presented by Mark 15, 13, where the first outcry of the crowd is reported with the words, E de Pauline uh, ekroxen. I don't know what ekroxen is. Uh, It, it, is it simply a connective? So de Pauline go together, kind of like a la K. Is it because a different source is used here? That's conjecture. Or is the meaning they shouted back? Question mark. So good speed. C1A, or is this really a second outcry? And is the first one hidden behind verse 8 or 11? Okay, well, that looks uh, that looks like a fun problem to work through if you're working through Mark fifteen thirteen, uh, but that's not the purview of right now. So there you go. Today's Greek word of the day, Pauline. Again, enjoy. Come back tomorrow. We'll have another one. Tomorrow being Monday. Been recording this two days in advance. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.